Uh, hi guys, this is <laughs> Elliot. Uh, it's been a while. Um, here I have a special guest uh, who is from Ireland. Uh, his name is Andrew. And Andrew, could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Okay, so my name is Andrew, as Elliot just mentioned, and I've been in Korea almost one year to the day. So in about two weeks, it will be one year exactly. And I've been living in Seoul all that time, having come from Melbourne, where I was a year. Before that, I was in Hong Kong for four years. So I've been traveling quite a bit, and I haven't actually lived in Ireland for about five, six years now to this point. So currently, my job is sports coach in an international school, and I also work as a personal trainer in Hanamdong. Hanamdong. Han Hanamdong. Hanamdong. In near, nearby Itaewon. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I probably uh, pronounced it wrong, so my bad. <laughs> no, no, the pronunciations no. of a lot of the places in Korea is, is never good, I notice. <laughs> but like, I mean, honestly, for me, it's it's easy to understand what you said. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's yeah. You, well, I guess it's like Irish people. Uh, the way they pronounce is not too like hard. I mean, like it's quite quite soft. Not like uh, British. Yeah. Like. But I think it's a, it's a between um, English and American. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's hard to say, like from other people's perspective, some people see it as being very harsh sounding. But I think in within Ireland, there's actually a lot of different tonalities, uh, a lot of different accents within the same country, even though we're a small country. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. So in Ireland, um, there might be a lot of like accent difference. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Even somebody living like one hour north of me would have a totally different accent. Oh, wow. Yeah. Obviously, if you're used to being around English people, around Scottish people, Welsh people, Irish people, you're going to notice all the different accents. And I would say within England, there are lots and lots of different accents. But uh, I wouldn't be, of course, as good at identifying where a person is from, as it would be uh, from my home country.